Now we have a big breaking news coming in. Israel Defense Forces spokesperson Jonathan Kondrikus briefs from the ground on the ongoing operation against Hamas. He has said, and uh, I'm going to quote him here, that more than 200 Israeli killed and number will rise as the border with Gaza will be sealed and then Israel will attack Hamas where they find them. More than 3,000 rockets have been launched by Hamas towards Israel. Since morning, more than 200 terrorists have been killed by Israel Defense Forces as well. Majority of killing has been in close contact. Fighting situation of Israel is still not fully under control. Hamas terrorists are still in Israel. Let's take a look at the reaction coming in from the same. I can say with sadness that these are not uh, the final figures. As the night unfolds and as, we, uh, as tomorrow will come, the, that number will unfortunately rise. And we are, have uh, sustained more than 1,200 Israeli casualties, both military and civilian. These are numbers that have never been heard before in Israel, definitely not that amount of Israeli civilians being killed, and that is unfortunately not the end of it. I am sad to say that we have a significant number of Israelis held by Hamas in Gaza, both civilians and soldiers, alive and presumed dead, uh, at uh, numbers that are hit were up until now imagine, unimaginable. Hamas has done a lot of work in the morning and opened a war against the United States. The soldiers of Israel are fighting in all the places of the war against the enemy. I call to the citizens to listen to the command of the army and to make them as a matter of fact. The United States will be able to win this war. Early this morning, when Israeli citizens were being killed in their beds, Hamas, the terror organization from Gaza, perpetrated a dual attack, both rockets towards Israeli civilians and ground attacks by terrorists against civilian population, children, women, elderly. They have killed many and captured others. Israel will retaliate. Israel will go after the perpetrators and make sure they cannot repeat this kind of atrocities again. Thank you to the Indian people and to Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji for your very strong moral support to Israel. We will prevail. First of all, with your permission, I would like to thanks to thousands of thousands of messages that I'm getting every time since the morning from the people of India supporting the state of Israel in a such a way that warm my heart and the warm the heart of the people of Israel in a very sad day today. The stand of the Indian government, which today is a, a significant uh, importance in the global war, in the glo global war against terrorism, and, in, uh, and, and, and Prime Minister Modi is a, is a global leader, is very, very important for us as a state, as a friend, as a brothers. And I think that uh, all over the world, with all the Western and non-Western people, understand that the situation of uh, attacking the sovereignty of the state of Israel is not acceptable and it will be retaliation for that. I think it's a bit more than attack. Uh, 6.30 in the morning, Shabbat, holiday, everyone is sleeping and we were woken up to the sound of explosions. Uh, we are now six hours into this war, and I call it a war and not an attack, because more than 3,000 rockets have been fired at Israeli communities and cities and homes. But also, right now as we are speaking, there are 10 Israeli communities in which physically there are Hamas terrorists. What we're seeing here today is an unprovoked, unprecedented and meditated uh, mass terror attack by Palestinian Hamas terrorists against Israel. Over 2,000 rockets have been indiscriminately fired um, at Israeli civilians this morning. Um, Hamas terrorists have infiltrated into the country. They've in cold blood executed and murdered innocent men, women, children and the elderly, a number of Israelis have also been taken hostage. Uh, to put this in context for you, uh, roughly one 
third of the country has been under threat of rocket fire um, this morning. One third of the population of India is roughly 500 million people. Dhaki ishi wahad. Harakit Hamas fathat abwaab jhannam ala qita ghazi. Hamas akhadat al qarar wa Hamas rahat tithammal masuli wa thaman amala. Дорогі українці, українки, сьогодні відранку на постійному зв'язку з нашими дипломатами з розвідкою через терористичний напад на Ізраїль та загрозу нашим громадянам, які перебувають в Ізраїлі, створено оперативний штаб при МЗС України. Всі служби та наше посольство відслідковують інформацію щодо громадян України, які могли опинитись у небезпеці. Станом на зараз перевіряється інформація про можливу загибель однієї громадянки України та проводиться розшук двох наших громадян. Як тільки будуть перевірені деталі щодо цих людей, українські дипломати повідомлять суспільству. Будь ласка, дорогі українці, якщо ви перебуваєте зараз в Ізраїлі, будьте максимально уважні, дотримуйтеся інструкцій від сил безпеки та дбайте про себе та інших поруч із вами. За будь-якою потребою, будь ласка, звертайтеся भारत ऐसे मुश्किल के समय पर इसराइल के साथ खड़ा है और जितने लोग पीड़ित हैं और जिनकी मृत्यु हुई है उन परिवारों को भारत सरकार की तरफ से भारत के जनता की तरफ से हम अपनी संवेदना व्यक्त करते हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी पहले ही इस बात को कह चुके हैं और मैं वही बात दोहराना चाहती हूँ